Okay, who would you like to take up now? Uh, is uh, Rebecca Stewart there at the Greenland County Courthouse? She is. All right, let's take her up next. Ms. Stewart, if you'll come up closer to the screen, please. We're on the record in 2023, TR381, State of Kansas versus Rebecca Ann Stewart. Paul E. Dean for the state, Richard Paul for the defendants, who also appears in person. And Mr. Paul, what announcements do you have on her? Judge, you set this. We pled her, and then you ordered her jail time. And she was supposed to be bringing her work schedule in today yes. to schedule her time. Has she done that? Um, Ma'am, I just started working. And they told me that the days that I could get off is on Thursdays and Fridays. Um, but I have to go to orientation tomorrow. Um, what, so do you mean you, what do you mean you just started working? Well, I ended up uh, getting a different job and I just started working. Well, when you were here March 29, 24, you needed some time to get your work schedule figured out before you started your sentence. You were supposed to serve 30 days. So we set it over for today and you had just left a job at Sonic the week previously. And you are interviewing at a different Sonic. So did you I start had, the job at Sonic? I was working at Sonic, but it didn't work out. Um, I was had an interview at a nursing home, but with my background, I couldn't do that. But I'm starting work at McDonald's. I gave you a number to call immediately after court for probation. Did you do that? Yes. I'm sorry? Yes, I did call. Did you tell probation that you didn't start your job? I did start my job. I, I did. I was working. But then you left that job. We had a, a disagreement, and I went, and I was looking for another job right away, and I found one. Did you tell probation all of that? I wasn't for sure. I was supposed to. All right, well, let's just start your sentence at this time. Can I, I can't, uh, ma'am, can I please just do like weekends, please? Because I don't have a babysitter. Ma'am, I don't have a babysitter and I'll lose my job. How long have you had this job? I'm just starting and I, that's how I'm going to start. when? Tomorrow, I go to orientation tomorrow. That's what you told me last time you were here and you didn't keep that job. And you have a horrific, you have a horrific record. I think we went over all of that the last time. With your adult, with your adult history beginning in 2016 and remaining heavy uh, right up to this case, other than I think you may have had a stint of time to serve in there, but you've had Everything, including drugs, burglary, theft, traffic. Yeah, and I'm changing my life around. I'm just asking if I can do weekend. You have, do you still have charges pending in Allen County for felony drugs and five I other? Trial. I've been clean. I've been sober. I have. Hold been on. Sober. Just answer my question, please. Do you still have that 2023 CR 117 for felony drugs and five other charges? including driving while well suspended third or more. Do you still have that pending? My court dates are far apart. Well, your last court date when you were here was March 25th. Did you go to that court date? Yes. And they set it over again? Yes. And do you still have Allen County 2023 CR 300080 for domestic violence? I go to court on that on this, I think, 17th. And do you still have Allen County 2023 CR 300018 for possession of stolen property? All of Allen County's court dates are on the same day. What date is it? I think the 17th. How about Allen I County 2023 CR 81 for stolen property? It's all on the 17th. And Allen County 24 CR 8. 
Nine for criminal damage. The seven name. I've been making all my court dates and I've been doing what I need to do. I'm just asking that if I could do weekends or Thursdays and Fridays, that way I don't lose my job and I well, have my. What's this? Well, I'm not sure. Uh, you have some other counties with felony drugs, driving while suspended, improper passing a school bus, something that, that goes back to April 21st, 23. What county is that in? The only county that I knew of was Neosho and Allen. Okay, Neosho would probably be the NO. Okay, and that's still pending? Yeah, they've set my court date so far apart on that. The driving while suspended third or subsequent and passing improper passing of a school bus, that's pending? Yeah. And uh, let's see. You got out of prison after four years in 2022, and all of that plus our case have been incurred since you were let out of prison in 22, right? Yeah. And I sentenced you to six months in jail to serve 30 days and then report to probation for the balance of the year. Ma'am, I swear I won't drive no more and I will get my life turned around if I can just do Thursdays and Fridays. Well, you you told me you haven't kept your word to me because I, rather than put you in jail the last time, you said you'd left your job at Sonic a week ago and you had an interview the next day. And yeah, uh, so I, had an I took no, you, you told me that, that you had your two children living with you who did they live with while you were in prison? My mom, and she has lung cancer. Yeah, that's what you told me last time, and you said she's not able to watch him, right? No. Well, I've given you since uh, March 29th to get this all worked out, and you've changed jobs. You apparently haven't gotten a babysitter because you say you need weekends. I have a babysitter on Thursdays and Fridays. I'm going to just order that you start your 30 day sentence and then I'll, I'll give you parole for the balance of the year. So Missy, can you have a, a deputy go ahead and take her in? I'm not fucking doing it. Hey, hey. I'm yeah. here. Right, I'm not running. <laughs> All right, take her into custody, please. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> now, now when she's released she can go to parole but she took off before I could tell her she needs to report directly to probation for supervision probation slash is that Carrie down there great okay that was Carrie right? Carrie she used to do 30 days and then I want her to sign up but she should have signed up with you by now. Did she do that? She did call, Your Honor, but Jessica is the one who got the phone call, and I haven't heard from her since. That's why I came down here to have her fill out paperwork for me. So I was just waiting here to see what would happen in court. Okay. So paperwork and let her know. All right. So, yeah, and if she doesn't want to cooperate, then you'll do whatever it is you need to do. But, uh yeah, I'm going to have her serve 30 days of her six-month sentence, and then she can report for the balance of the year if she if she will do that. Thank you. Thank you. And for the record, that was Carrie Seeley with Court Services. Okay, let's move on to who do you want to do next? 